Hey guys, it's Nina Zeta with Sidewalker Daily. And in today's video, I wanna talk about influencer contracts, but for influencers and for creators and things you guys need to know so that as a creator that is in this space, you are all set when it comes to agreements because What's gonna happen is that as you grow in you know, your influencer space or your creator space, you're gonna start working with brands and contracts are going to happen. And it's not just when you're working with brands, right? It's maybe when you are pitching new business or contracts are just part of setting up a business. Every business owner has to deal with contracts, even if we don't want to, right? And here at Sidewalker Daily, we've worked on enough brand campaigns to see different contracts and see what goes in them. And we've also worked with enough influencers and reviewing their contracts to have a really good understanding of what you need to know to make sure that you guys are all set. Because guess what? You can't escape contracts when it comes to being a creator, being an influencer, they're gonna pop up. So it's better to be prepared Prepared, and that's what this video is all about. Now, before I jump in, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are interested in all things influencer marketing, social media, creator economy, because that's what we specialize here at Sidewalker Daily, and I wanna make sure you guys are kept up to date. So let's start with what is an influencer contract. So an influencer contract is a binding agreement between an influencer and a brand. And instead of having the mindset that they are something to dread or something that we don't want to have, let's actually change and shift our mindset to look at this as something positive. Having a contract is actually a good thing. It's going to protect you. It's going to actually protect the business that, you know, or the brand that you guys are working with and making sure everyone is on the same page. It removes any variable of doubt. It's all very clearly defined. So let's go ahead and start with a mindset shift and not look at these as like these dreaded documents that we don't want to deal with, but actually as something that is going to help protect you as a creator. And again, most time things go according to plan. So you don't even end up needing to look at the contract afterwards. It's when it doesn't go to plan that you actually have a document to serve and say, Hey, look, this isn't what was written. This isn't what was agreed upon. And it, again, protects you. So in an instance, let's just say you offer a brand one round of revisions on a YouTube video and they you give them the one round and then they come back and they're like, oh, can you just change something else? You're like, whoa, 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 it's not in the contract. Now, again, you as a creator can decide if you wanna do that or not, but legally you are not required to. And again, this is why it's good to have everything written in your contract ahead of time so that you guys are all on the same page and that there aren't any confusions or issues to worry about for the future. A lot of people ask me, well, why do I need one? It's exactly because of that, because if something goes wrong, it's there to outline and to protect you and to make sure that you have something to refer to. So there's no misunderstandings or miscommunication. Now, a lot of times we'll say, Nina, do I always need a contract? And the short answer is yes, because at the end of the day, it doesn't have to be a bajillion pages long. It doesn't have to be super intense and wordy. What it just has to do is really outline the terms of the agreement, again, to ensure that both parties are in you know the same headspace and that there's no confusion. And it's really important that you don't just like have a random contract that you find on the internet or like random terms that don't apply to you, especially as influencers and creators, there's other things that we need to consider that maybe other contracts don't include. So you're gonna wanna make sure it's very influencer and creator specific. Now here at Sidewalker Daily, we have a negotiations and contracts course for influencers to help you guys negotiate better. And it comes with a sample contract template so you can use it as a starting point. This is the exact template that many of our creators use because it's very creator and influencer specific and has the things that we need in our industry to look out for. So oftentimes people say, Nina, who's supposed to send the contract? Is it the brand? Is it me? I would lean on the brand. The brand should often send it. But again, it doesn't hurt to have one yourself, right? That's why we have that template that we included in our contracts course, because if they don't send it, let's just say it's a smaller company, you should still have something signed by both of you to make sure you guys are all set, everything is clearly listed, and there's no issues down the road. So. If the brand doesn't give it to you, you should still have one that you send to make sure you guys are all good. Now let's dive into three important, important, important things that you need to consider as an influencer or creator when it comes to your contract. The first thing, not even the first, let me just preface a little bit. Guys, you have to read the contract. It is a legally binding document, okay? 
not all brands, of course, are shady or trying to harm you, but I have seen contracts where, let's just say in the negotiation process, we're like, okay, you do this, you do that, you do this, you do that, and everyone's on the same page, but in the contract, it doesn't say that. It says all this other random stuff. It has added deliverables, and again, it may not be because the brand is trying to harm you or come after you, who knows what the intention is? We've actually seen a brand, they were working on multiple campaigns and they just sent the wrong contract actually to their to the influencer I was working with. Cause I was like, wait, we didn't discuss this. I was helping her go through the contract. I'm like, this wasn't agreed on. And we went back and we were like, what is that about? And they were like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like it was not meant for you guys. It was for someone else. So again, you have to read the fine line. You have to take the time to read it, print it out if it's easier for you to read that way um, so that you can go through through it because it is legally binding. Once you sign it, then that's basically saying, you know, that you agreed to the terms in it. So like my first big tip is when you're reading it, you want to make sure that nothing has been changed based on what you guys originally discussed. So for example, usage, right? Let's just say, oh, in your talks, you, they were saying, we want to use your content for social media. But then in the contract, it's like, we can use your content on, you know, any medium in the world, which literally means they can print you on a billboard or put you in posters or whatever. That is something you didn't agree to, right? Maybe that would change your fee. It should change your fee. And I have a different video on how to increase your rates that you're going to want to watch after this video because it talks about ways to up your fee but that would need to be put into the contract you guys would have to have to agreed on that beforehand right so you want to make sure something like usage is very clear also what if the brand is like now saying okay you're going to provide photos of yourself and we're going to run ads to it but they never talk to you about running ads to it but in the contract it says it, right? So usage and understanding ads is super, super important and something you don't want to just sign without understanding. Again, maybe you're okay with it, maybe it changes the price, maybe it doesn't, but you need to know what you're getting yourself into. My second big tip is to understand contracts are not supposed to be just one-sided to protect the brand, right? What are your needs, right? And you can ask the brand always to include these things. So like, for example, your needs may be like, okay, when does it need to be posted, right? You need to know that so you can get organized or how many rounds of revisions because you don't want to do more than two or when will you get paid right you want to have this information in the contract because again it's not just about protecting the brand the best types of contracts are where it's like literally reciprocal and a win-win for both and everyone feels like they're on the same page so if you're seeing stuff like payment isn't included or like you know payment terms obviously payment but being like when and having that very clearly defined your needs defined in the contract is equally as important. So make sure you know what those are so that you can ask the brand to include them if they didn't already. Now make sure you understand all the terms in the contract before you sign anything. You may see some terminology that you are not familiar with. Maybe you see non-disparagement or something about exclusivity or whitelisting. If you don't know, you can ask. Yes, you can ask. You can go back to the brand. It's called redlining. Redlining is when you actually have like revisions that you wanna make and I'll get into that in a second. But you can also feel free to ask the brand. Like I've had an influencer be stressing and be like, I don't know what this means. Of course, if you have, you know, a lawyer that you can reach out to always, you know, it's it depends on obviously the contract. I've had a creator recently, you know, he was working on a huge brand deal and yes, we hired a lawyer because it was an intense project, right? So sometimes that needs to go into your fee as well. Like thinking, okay, I need a lawyer to review this so that, you know, if I'm getting paid X amount, I'm going to have to take out some lawyer fees. So again, super important that you can always ask a lawyer. You can always um, do your own research, but if you don't ask the brand, you can ask them, what do you mean by this? I have a question on section seven. Um, what does that mean? Can you please let me know? That's an okay thing to ask. You are actually being a smart business person and asking them to explain what that means so that you guys can all be on the same page. Now, can you negotiate the terms of a contract? Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. You don't have to just get the contract and sign and be like, I'm okay with this. And this is a missing piece a lot of creators forget and they get tripped up on. You can absolutely go back and say, actually, no, 
negotiate. And that's what I mean. The term is called redlining, but let's just say there's separate little sections that you do not agree with something or you have questions or you want a revision. This is when you can go into the document and make those revisions and send them to the brand before you sign, right? And then the brand will send you back, you know, if you guys are able to agree on these revisions and they agree to them, they will send you back a new contract with those revisions in place and then you can sign and you guys are good to go. So don't be afraid to negotiate on the contract. They may not agree to your revisions, okay? But it doesn't mean you can't try. And as always, like we say here at Sidewalker, just be polite. Um, you can say, you know, what doesn't work for you and go ahead and ask for those changes to be made. Hey, if you don't ask, you won't receive, right? So don't be afraid to do so. And like I said, we have a course all on contracts and negotiations for influencers and creators specifically. So if this is an area of your business you need help with, you should definitely check out our course. It comes with a contract template. It will help you not only negotiate your rates to get more money, it's also gonna help you with all those yucky, icky terms that go into influencer contracts, the ones that we told you to hire a lawyer for. We go through a big chunk of terms because my business partner, is a lawyer and she was able to put this course together for us here at Sidewalker Daily. We really care about you guys and your success as creators and we don't want to see anything happen to you. So definitely check out that course if that's something that is going to be in your business that you're negotiating, which you should be, and when you're signing contracts, which hopefully you will be doing soon or are already, this course will definitely help you. Anyways, guys, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to our channel, like, comment, do all that good stuff. Let me know what your thoughts are and I will see you in the the next video.